Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use edit part of the capture program. After downloading and opening the app, you'll see this thing on your screen. Press the edit part and open up the screen. Now as you can see it is all blank and we don't have any materials or the media that I can use to make a video. First of all, I need to add my videos into it. So, um, there are two ways to do it. First of all, you can use um, like selecting it and dragging it till here. And now you have your media. Or the other way you can use is to select insert material here and choose the video you want to choose and say open and now here you go you have your videos okay so now how can I make my video I'm choosing the video I want to use first I'm dragging it down till here as you can see we have track 1 2 and 3 and you can add even more right now because we're not going to make a really complex video with more than um, like two or three different photos onto it it doesn't matter if you use track one two or three or it, uh, in different names I'm uh, right now I chose track two you can cho choose track one or three or whatever you want I'm putting it till here now I have my intro in the first part second I'm going to put my video. I'm doing the exact same thing I did for the intro. I'm dragging it down and I'm using it till here. And again, I'm adding my intro at the end of the video and sliding it. Oops. Now I have my video. Uh, sometimes, as you know, we uh, talk wrong or let's say you show something yet that you didn't want to show in your video and you want to cut it out split the video or do extra things with it but you can see it's 20 seconds 40 to 1 minute 1 and 20 it doesn't show the details what can you do here we have a scale part of the video let's say this is a timeline so the scale part of the timeline you can zoom it up and now I have it all in different um, details Let's use it like this. It will be easier for me and for you. 12 seconds, 18 and 24 seconds. So it shows in seconds by seconds. As, you, as I said, you can make it smaller or bigger. So right now I have my video ready for me. But I did something wrong, as I said before, and I need to cut a part. What do I do? Here we have a great thing. The pointer here. So I want to cut the part that I did wrong, like let's say five seconds. I put the uh, pointer in the first part that I started to do it wrong, select the video, and here I have a scissor. It says split. I click it on once, and now my video is in, uh, in two pieces. This part is the first part I started to talk wrong. And now this is the part that I finished talking wrong. I select the video again, split it. And now the part that I did wrong is um, other, it's like other than the others. So now I want to delete it. Uh, you can use um, right click or you can directly use the one trash button here. And now it's all gone you can slide it again until the blanks are closed and now my video is true because I deleted the part that I talked wrong yes I did my video so what now right I forgot my watermark I have to write my name onto the video so whoever is watching the video should know it's me right or I want to add an e new information anything you want so let's say I want to add hello everyone 
Opening the text part from here, I'm writing hello everyone. Now you can choose the font from here or the size from here. Here it says drag to track to web on monitor. I'm holding it up and putting it here. And now I have my text. It's on 16th second. You can use the arrows from here to make it shorter or even longer. And you can also drag it down and slide it up on the timeline to put it wherever you want. I Let's say I want it here. Now I have it. But I don't want to use the, um, you know, text in the middle of the video. I want to use it here. So you can just select it from here, drag it down onto here, even make it shorter, longer. And now I have my text onto my video. But as you can see in the first part of the video that I had my intro, the video was on to scale and it was fitting it. But right now for the other video it is not. I have the black parts. Just click after going on this part. You'll see this. Click it on once and now you have these points on your window. You can use the arrows and the parts and make it fit the zoom even smaller. Change the video part. And now you'll have your video looking like this. Even the videos I fit to zoom can be changed. Let's say make it smaller, right? Now I made it smaller and bigger. And after I make all my video ready, what do I do? I want to use it as a video, not as a program, right? Here we have the export part that we are going to use. Click it on once and now it will open your uh, desktop or another folder that you're using. Uh, go to your desktop and write the name of the video that you should. Let's say hello everyone. It is already mp4 so you don't need to change it. If it shows another type of video here Select MP4 and then say save. Based on the video's length, it may be take uh, more than half an hour, even more than one hour to generate and proceed the capture program into the video. But because my video was really short, it only take like 10 seconds or even 5 seconds. So if it is taking more than 5 or 10 seconds, like mine did, uh, don't get all like shocked because that can happen anytime to anyone based on the video's length. And right now it says succeed generating. I say open and here also I have my video as mp4. I say open. And now I have my video. It is all done like this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions that I didn't uh, or I couldn't tell you about it, please feel free to write it down on the comments down below. I will use my best. I will do my best to answer all of the questions. Thank you so much for listening and watching.